Hey, what's up, Charlie? What's up? How you doing, man? Good. Good. Hey, today we're gonna try sweepers. Have you heard of this before? Not really. This is total old school 80s trick. It does involve your hand, and it's typically a transition trick. So, let's get it. Okay. I'm gonna stand with my board in my lead hand, step up with my back foot on the imaginary coping, so on the edge of the bank, okay? I'm gonna hold my skateboard against my foot, and then put my front foot up, and start to lean into my front foot. As you get better with this, you're gonna hold your board in front of your body, okay? So you'll start to hold your board out here in front of your body, and then I put my front foot up, and I'm gonna bend my back knee and hop out into my front foot. Remember, kind of bend down, and you wanna to start to leap out and try to get that back foot on so that you can land into your pump with both feet on. Okay. Fantastic. Feel good? Okay, right. cool. Next, I'm gonna teach you how to pop your board up into your hand, just like we did in our stops video. So from standing on your board, put your back foot on the tail, you're gonna bend down almost like you're gonna ollie. Notice how my feet are pretty much in ollie position. I'm gonna bend down pop my board into my front hand. Now, when I do pop it, I kind of quickly try to take my back foot off and put it on the ground. So really keep my back foot on the tip of the tail, bend down. Notice shoulders with the skateboard. I bend down, pop and grab the front of my board and I keep my nose pulled against my front foot. Go ahead, take your time, really bend down. <clears throat> Perfect, dude. All right. That's right, that's it right there. Yup. Now we're gonna start to link these together. We're gonna back it up though. One step even simpler. I want you to skate up, pop your board up into your hand, make your spin, and then lay your tail on the edge of the ramp and then jump into your drop in. Okay. You ready? Good. Yeah. You ready for this? I'll try it. That's right. There it is. Hey, that's the beginning right there. That felt like the first good pop for me. Yep, ready to try it on quarter pipe? All right. Okay, geez, don't be so enthusiastic, it huh? It seems scary. So check it out. Just like we did it on the bank here, I'm gonna step my back foot up right next to the coping. I'm gonna lay my board so that my, I pay attention so that my back wheels will go over the coping, okay? So when I bend down, look, it's like this. So you can literally just start like this, like you're holding your nose of your board for a drop in, you put your front foot up and then push off. Right when I push off, I get that back foot on the tail. Intimidating. Hey, sure. risk your life for everybody's entertainment. <laughs> so treat it just like a bank. It is a bank, it's just a little bit steeper. All right. How about this? Start halfway up the ramp. All right, all right, all right. Right when you lift that front foot up, you're already committed to leaning in. So go with it sure. and into your pump. You don't have to go as fast as I thought. You nah. get a little bit of time to yeah. stand up there. Yeah, totally. Bending down. I see. It reminds me of my first drop in, right? You yeah, that's what, that anxiety. that's what makes this intense. That's it. Now I'm not scared. Okay, good. Feel it out. Come on, get crazy, Charlie. You could do it, bro. Hop off and in there. Oh, that's better. That's right. And as you build that confidence and trust, you'll just start to land more into a pump down it. Okay. Okay. But the confidence gets built on every one of those. That's it. Now, let's get our drop in, and then we're gonna kick our board up into our hand and keep that board connected to our front foot as we make our 180. Back wheels hanging over the coping, and then push off and into our drop in. Okay, so same thing as on the pyramid, just yep. on the coping? Yep, and we're gonna right. do it right here. All right. So this time I want you to go ahead and drop in and launch your board up into your lead hand and just stall it out. We're just going for the grab to build a consistent trust in that grab. And do I pop this time or do I bonk? No, just kind of bonk it. Just kind of shoot it out in front of you. Cool. The coping will do the work and kick it up into your hand. Sure. That's right, that's right. So so this time, give it a little more power into your launch out. Sure. So your board launches up into your hand more. That's it, that's it. Now bend down, hang your wheels, front foot up. Get that front foot where it needs to be and then push off and into your dropping. I'm gonna do a bad one. Good job. I was not mentally prepared. That's okay. There you go, there you go. Your tail's gonna swing out first, right? So let that happen. Don't try to hold your board up and down awkward. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah. let that board swing out. That's better. And then drop it down. There you go, there you go, get it. Oh, you had it, you had it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Notice when I, when I swing that board out and around, that's what I'm talking about. I'm using the momentum of my launch out to let my board swing up and then drag it back in. Keeping the natural flow of the board and I let, that way I don't have to, to muscle the weight of the board. As it goes up, I let it go up and then as it comes down, I just pull it back in down tight, tight to my body. I want you to hold that board tight to your foot. So look, hanging that board out in front of me, look. I want you to swing that board up and then around, okay? So keep connection with that front foot. Let it swing up and around. Yep, but remember, keep it flat. Keep that board flat. And keep my heel planted too. Yep. Right? You can pivot on your toes, whatever whatever you need to. Just keep just keep the ollie spot of your board. There you go. But remember, look at how your board's up and down. Okay. Like you want to let that board be more relaxed. Yeah. Okay. So just kind of barely pinch the nose. You're still muscling it. Look, you're still muscling it like this with the fingers. Sure. Dude, just let it, just let it kind of swing out and then almost drop to the wheels to manual over the coping. That's it, that's it, see? And as you're learning, you can stall it when your back wheels go over the coping. Just hold it there for a second and, and build your trust. That's it, that was perfect one right there. Yeah! That swing out, swing that sweeper and then let it smack and drag over, okay? okay? That's what makes it look stylish too. Come on, man, you're doing good. Some speed, launch that thing. That's it, that's it, tuck into it, jump in. Come on, jump in there, yeah! Hey, that was the best one. Okay, cool. Dude, that was the best one. <laughs> Nothing like somebody screaming at you to go back in the ramp to help you get in there, huh? It helps though. Yeah, it helps. that's good, man. I'm just messing with you. No, it helps me get out, actually. Good. Launch a big one. Good, you're doing awesome, dude. Yep. was terrifying at first but now it's like a drop in it's like Dude, a tail stall get outside of your comfort zone expand the possibilities and then you realize oh this wasn't that bad at all for sure but dude you did fantastic thanks, hey man. thanks for letting me film this today for sure yeah dude thanks for the lesson i really didn't think i could do this I, I hope it helps a lot of people so we'll see i think a lot of people can learn this trick it's a lot easier than it looks cool just gotta try it totally good job dude later Oh.